Anthony Davis led the Lakers in scoring last night with 28 points, but went 8 for 24 from the floor and 0 for 5 from beyond the arc. After the game, 80 said he got all the looks that he wanted, but it came down to making the open shots when they were there. So, Shannon, I start with you. Please give AD a letter grade. Skip, I had him down for a, a nice little grade. He still passed, but it, I recommend he take the class over again. Really? I gave him a D. <laughs> I, I, I didn't have a choice, Skip. 0 for 6 on catch-and-shoot situations. He missed the two free throws with forty uh, with four a uh, little over a uh, little under five minutes left. An eighty five percent free throw shooter. He missed five last night. Eight for twenty four, in which he's a fifty percent shooter from the field, yep. and he only had seven points in the second half, mm-hmm. and he was minus twenty. Yep. In plus minus. Mm. Hey, do you better than that? Mm. Hey, do you better than that? Is he? Yeah, hey, you better. Sure? Than, yeah, yeah, my nephew better than that. I know mm. he better than that, mm. and he's gonna show you on Thursday. But Skip, I, I can't. I, I don't see how he gets a C with that type of performance. And you look at him in the first half; he had 21 points in the first half, and he gives you five in the third and two in the fourth, mm. two points. And for most indication, he's top five or sixth at worst best player in the NBA, and that's what he gave us last night. Mm. That's unacceptable. That's unacceptable for man for someone as talented as him. Mm. And you know you have on purple and gold, and you are a big, the expectations get heightened. They do. And so for that, I had to give him a D. Mm. And I also give AD his second initial. I give him a D also. (laughs) And you almost talked me into a D (laughs) minus. Yet, just like LeBron's stat line, if I just glanced, if I hadn't watched the game, if I just took a quick look at, 28 and 11. Mm-hmm. That sounds pretty good, yeah. right? Yes. That sounds Laker esque. Yes. That that's like Kareem esque, Shaq esque, right. right? 28 mm-hmm. and 11. Ah, uh, look a little deeper. 0 for 5 from three. What are you doing taking that many three point shots? And from the free throw line, 12 of 17. But more important, in the fourth quarter, when it really mattered, game on the line, and at two points in the fourth quarter, you had a six point lead. He takes three total shots. He makes only one. Mm -hmm. And he got to the free throw line how many times? One time with two shots, and he missed them both. And you remember opening night at at the restart, Skip? He was 17 to 18 from the free throw line, which really was the difference in the ball game. Okay. But what happened on opening night of the whole season? Yeah. What happened in the fourth quarter against the Clippers? He disappeared. He goose-egged in the fourth quarter. I don't believe he's that guy that you think he is. I, I see all the talent. I see the skills. He, he's like a six foot, 10 inch guard. You know, like he, he yeah. plays like a guard and he was a point guard in high school. Yep. And then he grew way up. And all of a sudden at Kentucky, he took over college basketball. Has he taken over pro basketball? Would the, the second level stats say, yes, you have, because you are the PER print, <laughs> player efficiency rating. He was fourth this year. LeBron was 10th this year. Okay. So is he that guy? Because in New Orleans, did he ever lift that franchise up to greatness? No. And they they had some talent. Yeah. Boogie was there for yeah. a while. And Rondo was mm-hmm. there. And, and his biggest playoff claim to fame was with Rondo when they swept Damian and right. company. Four straight games. Right. And it was playoff Rondo, right. which is why I think you need playoff Rondo tomorrow night. I need somebody that can hit a jumper. Well, you If do. Rondo can do that, I'll take him. Well, Throw he, Jason Kidd out there. He will. Even Lionel though, Hollins might get help. Well, even Rondo and Jason Kidd aren't very good shooters, but I will guarantee you, come playoff time and big moments, those guys will make big threes. Have you seen the way the Lakers been shooting the ball? I have. It don't look like they got very good shooters either. Mm. Skip, I saw Anthony Davis once get 59 and 20. Saw him get 40 and 20. So I know he's more than capable, mm. but you get, you can't settle. And you can't start falling away from the basket. And you can't start shooting floaters. If they block the shot, they block the shot. But you're going to get more uh, calls than not. You had Nurkic and you had Whiteside. You had Melo with five fouls. Yep. Somebody got to get out the game. Mm. And because you weren't aggressive enough, take it to him. Shannon, he is who I thought he was. He's going to show you. That guy in New Orleans. He went 5-8 and in playoff games and in regular season games, 216 and 250. So what's that? Like 30, I'm sorry, yeah, 34 games under 500. 
He's going to show so, you on something Thursday. Something is missing. How many anonymous quotes have we talked about this year from various executives and personnel people around the league? He doesn't have that dog in him. Even Charles Barkley said the other night, I don't think he has that dog in him. you got to have some guy who says, I'm going to just go out there and kill all y'all. Lakers, Lakers by 10. Okay. Lakers by 10 on, on, well, on Thursday. I, I hope you're right, but I think that's going to have more to do with your guy, LeBron James, than that yeah. guy, Anthony I'm, Davis. Matter of fact, I'm calling Fox Bear right now. So Are you? Out there, yep. What did I warn you about yesterday? What have I warned him about on Twitter and sitting in this seat? Be careful what you wish for. He wished for purple and gold. He wished for La La Land. He loves it here, and I don't blame him. I love it here. But it's a different type of expectation, hey, though. Hey, hey, this you, is different. I mean, there, there are certain situations that you go to. Boston's one of those, and yep. the Lakers. It's kind of like I skipping totally baseball. Agree. You go to the Yankees. What Yankees ain't talking about, yeah, the AL, yeah, yeah that's nice, nice. No, nope, I got it's it. All about, it's all about the uh, World Series. Yeah. If you're getting max money and yes! money, nobody cares. Nobody cares. So nope. nobody, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Okay, and I'm going to warn him again. LeBron can be the greatest teammate you ever play with, and he can be the most difficult because he will pass you the basketball like nobody. LeBron's still the best passer in basketball and has been since he stepped on an NBA floor. He, he, he had AD with a couple uh, last night. He did. Beautiful. Just beautiful. They're, they're it's gift. It's it's like you're born with this gift, and he is flaunting his gift now at age 35. But LeBron will also pass you the blame. We've seen it before, especially with co-stars. He will make it clear to the media that you are not holding up your end of the bargain. And let them lose another game because he's not there for LeBron. I promise you LeBron will go passive-aggressive with don't some need to. kind of post-game shot at that guy. LeBron don't need to because everybody watched the game last night. Yeah. And everybody was, you know, I'm watching on Twitter. AD, what are you doing? AD, stop floating. Stop shooting threes. Get down. So everybody mm. sees it. But AD knows it. Mm. AD knows what's expected of him. I talked to him. He knows what's expected. He and I expect, I expect him to come back with a 30 and 15 game. You're going to give him a little lecture this afternoon? I just might. You might? Might call a little goat, too. Uh, I, I think both of them need to go to shoot around tomorrow for the first time all year and shoot around. Well, we're going. We're yeah. going to do whatever we need to take to uh, break out. Of Hold up. How about them other guys go to shoot around? They're the one that need to be making the shots. We ain't getting a whole lot of catch and shoot. Well, AD is. LeBron is not getting a whole lot of catch and shoots. Mm. But Danny Green, Carl Whip, skip. Caldwell, uh, uh, Danny Green was minus 20. Caldwell Pope was minus 18. AD, minus 20. Mm. How you going to win with that? Let's go. Mm. This, these are your starters. Yep. And you shoot 15, 16% from the three-point line. You shoot 65% from the free throw line and 35% from the field. Mm. And you expect to win a game? The mm. mere fact that you were even in the game should be a constant, should, like you said, uh, uh, what you, what, what you say that, uh, uh, a moral victory. Mm -hmm. That should be a moral victory that you were even in the game with these kind of despicable numbers. Mm. It's absurd that you were even in the game. Mm. Your two stars go 17 of 44. 17 of 44. Okay. One for 10 from the three-point line. Mm. And with two minutes left in the ball game, you're only down three. Mm. What do we see in those seven restart games that Anthony Davis did play in? They won three of them, and in those, he averaged 34, 9, and 4. He destroyed, he, he hurt the Clippers, but he destroyed Utah and Rudy O'Brien. Yeah, he made a mess right? of the old, 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 uh, friendship. Made a mess of him. In the four losses in which he played in the restart game, he looked a mess. He averaged 12, 9, and 4. So 34, 9, and 4 in the wins, 12, 9, and 4. That's disappointing. 12 points. Come on, stop it. That says to me, front runner. If you get off hot and everybody's cooking and LeBron's dishing and it feels good, he'll feel good and he'll well, lay Well, he needs to get himself going by going to the basket yep. instead of settling because what was the first thing was a jumper, a step back, catch and shoot. Put the ball on the floor. In, in those step backs, I can always tell when he shoots it like he means it. In the, the first couple of shots of the game, they were tentative yes, to me. Yes. They were weak and, yes. and they missed badly. I, I, I hope this go in. Yeah. No, that. shoot it with conviction. Shoot it. Yes. Yep. Shoot but it like put you the mean. ball on the floor. Nurkic or Whiteside need to foul out. Mm. And they need to foul out by you putting the ball on the floor and drawing contact. Mm. Be aggressive. Don't bail, don't bail them out by mm. flailing, shooting it up there and falling. No. My last warning is 
the GOAT, as you call LeBron James, often needs a scapegoat. Beware AD. All I need it's a, coming. All I need AD to do yep. is hold up his end of the bar. Well, that's it. And if you don't, you got scapegoat. Okay, Skip, here's the thing. I'm gonna go into the bank. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I just need you to hold a bag. Yeah. I'm gonna do all I'm gonna, I'm gonna do all I'm going in the vault. I'm gonna dump all the money. Just hold a bag. Mm. Don't drop the bag. And then now we gotta run out there with bundles in our hand. Just hold a bag, AD. That's all I need you to do. Mm. Hold a bag. I'm gonna do the rest. You talk a lot about Robin Banks. <laughs> I, I I hope you don't have any experience. I don't know. No, nah, I ain't got no bad Robin Banks. But I just need AD to hold a bag. LeBron got the LeBron gonna so, put the money so in the LeBron bag. LeBron can get in his bag. That's it. Right? Yeah. LeBron gonna do this thing yeah. on Thursday. It might be more pressure to hold the bag than actually do the work. Do you know? That's I, all I, I feel like that's probably the issue right now, Shannon. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.